Hey YouTube, Logan with Hideaway Homestead here, coming to you today with a video on um, keeping animals in a stationary building. And I've got our little chicks here, they're growing pretty well. They're scratching around and eating stuff out of the bed. And got the ducks, they're doing good. They're, uh, they've gotten very tame from us doing all the hand feeding, so... Um, they're growing well too, and uh, we're looking forward to before long having some drakes to eat. Um, but I wanted to talk about mainly in keeping these animals in a stationary coop that uh, you do have some issues with stench if you don't do it right. Now I've I've heard um, people in permaculture say. If it smells bad, you're doing it wrong, and I couldn't agree more. So as you can see, I put down some pine shavings in here because it was getting a little muddy, and as soon as I started having a smell, I thought, I've got to do something about this. So I went and I got some pine shavings because um, I didn't have anything else dry. It's crazy. I have a sawmill, work at a wood shop, and uh, at the time, I did not have anything that I could you know, pour in here. I thought about getting up some leaves and stuff, but they were all too wet, and they were not going to... Um, have the same effect as these dry pine shavings were. So when you have your animals in a system like this, this can work. I think there's a lot, a lot of people out there that um, are kind of against this because of like the mucking out the shelters and everything. But if you do the uh, polyface farm method, like uh, Joel Salatin, and you make thick bedding, then um, it just it, it makes compost. So with the ducks here, what I'm doing is just any time that it gets smelly, I bring in carbon and lay it out. I did it with the biochar. I also took just some limb trimmings here for the chickens to peck at and tear apart and play in um, over all the uh, char here. And um, the char helps a ton with the smell. If you can produce enough of, it, enough of it, you could throw down a ton and it would just soak up so much of this nutrient. Um, but mainly focusing on just, for example, right here, as you can see, the ducks are starting to bed down here more in this corner. So there's a little bit of poop there. You see some flies flying around. Doesn't stink right now, but this is where anytime I add new carbon material, I need to add it to the places where they're bedding down first. And what you want to do is you want to just add on top every single time. So you're making just basically layers of where they poop and then you're adding more carbon to it to soak it up um he uh he calls it i think a carbon diaper or a carbonaceous diaper um so uh, joel salatin that is uh when he explains it he's got some really good videos on youtube of uh, people videoing his systems and they just work so that's what the plan is in here is just to continually add the carbon in here just anywhere i can get it and to build up the layers up until it's starting to flow out of the uh, pallets there. Um, just keep building it up. Especially once I get the rabbits in here, I'm gonna need a lot of carbon to go down below here. And uh, the chickens are gonna help a lot because they scratch that stuff and they help compost it. So you see the ducks, they don't scratch. So having the chickens in here is a great addition because they're gonna keep that bedding turned and they're gonna make it to where um, they, it stays aerobic and the microbes and bugs and stuff can help eat it down. The ones, the bugs they don't eat anyway, <laughs> can help uh, uh, keep the smells down and process all this nutrient. This place here is going to be an excellent garden spot once we're done with it. Um, I'm sure that uh, it, it, it will more than likely by that time uh, be my dad who reaps the benefits of uh, this little garden spot. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to show y'all about that. Remember, if it smells, you're doing it wrong. So try to mitigate smells at all costs. You want your uh, homestead to be pleasing. I could sit down right in here and uh, uh, eat if it wasn't for the flies. So that's something I need to work on. I need to figure out um, how much more I need to come in here and add to make sure that there aren't any flies in here. But as far as smell, they ain't really that bad. The flies really aren't on me right now because I guess they're getting on the poop. But um, yeah, you want to you want to mitigate that stuff. Anytime you see a sign like that, um, there's a smell or um, a lot of flies. You want to 
come in and add more carbon material. But anyway, that's it for this video. Leave a like on, on the video if you enjoyed it, if it was helpful. And subscribe to the channel for more. I drop a video like this every day. And uh, if you got any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section. Appreciate everybody watching, and we'll see y'all in the next one.